Today, guys, we're talking about seven seriously life-changing shortcuts when it comes to raising a Doberman puppy. Not an easy task, but these things will make your life just so much easier. And many of these were taught to me over the years, but some of them I just had to figure out through trial and error while raising my dog and while working one-on-one -on -one with many of you Doberman owners and coaching you along the way while you raised your Dobermans. But seriously, without some of these little shortcuts and tricks, I don't know where I would be in my Doberman journey. Okay, so these tricks are coming at you in no particular order. And this first trick is a really awesome one. It's probably the simplest to do, and it's called the poop trick. And the poop trick is basically a trick or shortcut for stopping your doorman from digging in one specific spot in your yard. And the cool thing about it is it pretty much works the first time every time with dobermans from puppyhood all the way on up through adulthood. It stops the digging now. So the way it works is you simply go and find a piece of your dog's poop and put it in the area where your dog is digging up and destroying your yard. Put it in that hole, bury it a little bit, and sit back and watch how amazingly quick that this actually puts a stop to the digging. And that's why the poop trick makes our list of some of the best shortcuts for Dobermans. And number two on our list is the expanding den trick. Now this is a way to really supercharge the potty training process with Doberman puppies. And it works really well with these dogs. So basically you would use this uh, if you have say an eight week old puppy, nine, 10 week old, a puppy that's really young and it has not been fully potty trained. If you can't afford to lose, let's say a rug in your house or have that accident, use this expanding den trick to really get your dog on track with potty training extremely fast. So the way it works is you simply cordon off a small area of your home, probably one that's more of a common area where you're gonna be spending a lot of time so you can supervise your doorman puppy and you slowly expand that area through the house as the dog proves themselves to be trustworthy with the potty training process. In other words, you start in one room as they've uh, become trustworthy in that area and they haven't had an accident for a few days, then you expand it out to a bigger area, then you expand it out to another bigger area and a bigger area and so on until they have free roam of the entire house and their potty training issues are solved. So what this does is it really helps your Doberman puppy see your entire house as your den in a step-by-step -step incremental process. And the reason why you want your Doberman puppy to see your whole house as their den is because they just naturally have an instinct not to urinate or defecate inside their den. The next shortcut is the wake up in the pen or the crate trick. And basically this is just a way to supercharge your dog's comfort level with their pen or the crate. You'd use this for a brand new Doberman puppy you're bringing home and you want them to be as comfortable as possible in their pen or crate because that's the area that tends to have a lot of anxiety. If you get them comfortable with that early on, you'll have less barking, crying, just general anxiety issues in that crate or the pen. This really just speeds up the process in which they feel very comfortable in their home or their den or their pen or crate in this case. Okay, so how this shortcut works is actually really simple. Anytime your young Doberman puppy falls asleep, usually it's either in your lap or right next to you somewhere on the couch, for example, pick that Doberman puppy up and they might wake up, but that's okay. They're still very sleepy because they just fell asleep. Walk them over to their pen or their crate, set them down inside, maybe pet them a few times, let them relax and go back to sleep in that pen or crate. And then you can leave that door open to that pen if you'd like, as long as you're there to supervise, or you can close it. But if you close it, make sure you do open that pen door before they wake up long enough to start getting any heightened anxiety. Next up, and this is a very popular one with us Doberman owners, is the hand and bowl trick. Now this one uh, is a great way to prevent resource guarding or biting issues in a Doberman before they ever start. And really you'd use this when you bring home a new Doberman puppy. Hopefully you start this early on and you continue this to make sure they stay used to this process as they grow and mature. So here's the way it works. When you're feeding your Doberman puppy, soon after they start eating, place your open hand in their food bowl blocking their path from getting their food. Now, your puppy might try to nuzzle their nose past your hand, and that's okay. Keep blocking their nose, move it around as you need to, until the dog kind of seems to give up or relinquish the situation to you. Once that happens, pause a few seconds, then give them the release command, let them go back to eating, and feel free to praise them at that point if you want. Now, of course, be smart about this. If you're not sure what your dog's reaction might be, and especially if they're an older or bigger dog, feel free to use another object like a broom or something like that, other than your hand, as it might be safer. But do this a lot when they're a young puppy, 
and continue to do this as they grow and mature and you'll likely have very little issues doing this. So the next trick is called the 100 experiences in 100 days. And really this is a way to fast track socialization of your dormant puppy, which is a hugely important and it keeps you really on track. So you'd use this early on, right when you first bring home a Doberman puppy. Okay, so to do this trick, sit down early before you bring home a Doberman puppy with a pen and paper and write down 100, yes, 100 different things in kind of a checklist format that you want to expose your Doberman puppy to in the first 100 days. Now make sure you check off at least one of these per day as you go and it's a great way to keep you on track and really make sure the socialization happens. Include things in that list like new sounds that they might run into with you on a daily basis like loud crowds or sirens or loud engines and that kind of thing. New experiences like riding in a boat, riding in a car, walking in uneven surfaces, walking across a tall bridge, things like that. Um, animals they might meet, like uh, meet another puppy, meet a very big dog, a cat, farm animals that might be around you, and that kind of thing. Also, don't forget experiences. Include those on the list, like meeting people in public, meeting a very loud and boisterous person that's jumping around and using their hands a lot, meeting a stranger in your own house, um, meeting somebody in uniform, and that kind of thing. Just pencil out these 100 ideas and stick to this course of action as you go. So we have a couple of other really cool time-saving tricks and tips for you in one second, but I do wanna ask you to hit that subscribe button. If you found anything in this video, even halfway useful, subscribe and hit that bell icon next to it so you get notified of all our future videos. That way you won't miss any of the future life-saving tips or tricks. And there's a lot of them coming at you on this channel, especially if you own a Doberman. All right, let's get on to the next trick. The next shortcut is called stay in sight for the first many nights. And really this is just a way way to reduce the anxiety as quickly as possible for a new Doberman puppy that you just brought home so that you have the least number of days of the whining and crying in the middle of the night while they're getting used to their new home environment. So the way to do this trick is pretty simple. When you bring home a new Doberman puppy and you have your first night at home, make sure that puppy in their crate or bed or wherever you have them sleeping at night can see you while you're sleeping. Now some people go as far as to not only position the crate in an area of the room where they can see the bed, but even prop it up on something sturdy and higher off the ground so that they can see their owner on the bed while they're sleeping. Whatever you choose to do is certainly up to you, but as long as the dog can see you while you're sleeping, you're doing this trick right. Now, while you're doing this, the closer to you they are, the better, because what it does is your dormant puppy is really used to sleeping in just a gaggle with their brothers and their sisters and their mom. And now this is their first night or one of the first few nights away from them. And they're in this whole new environment kind of by themselves. And hopefully they've started to already build a bond with you. And if they can also see you in the room, it's gonna help reduce their anxiety drastically during the night. And don't be surprised if you have little to no crying, maybe one night or even just a couple nights of crying at most. Okay, so the next one is called one vaccine might be enough. And this is really a way to make sure that your socialization for your young Doberman puppy that you bring home stays on track and is crammed in as early as possible and you don't miss that critical socialization window for Doberman puppies, which is between four weeks of age and 16 weeks of age. This window closes fast and this helps to make sure that you get that socialization in that you need to. So basically the way it works is this, you get your Doberman puppy their first shot of their DHPP vaccine. That's a critical vaccine protects against a lot of things, including parvovirus, and you give them about a week to build immunity from that vaccine, and then you begin reasonable socialization from there. Now, first, I think it's important to tell you I'm not a veterinarian, I've had no training as a vet, but I have worked very closely with the veterinarians over the Doberman Diversity Project, and I've explored this question at depth with them. Now, if you wanna see the video I did on this exact topic where I worked really closely with the veterinarians over at the Doberman Diversity Project to answer this question, you can take a look at that video. It should be popping up in the corner of your screen right there. And really, I'm just scratching the surface of it right now for this tips and tricks video, but there's a lot that goes into this question. So if you're concerned about early socialization of your puppy before being fully vaccinated, take a look at that video. That should help you out quite a bit. So I didn't mention it yet, guys, but I think it's really important that you don't underestimate how important it is to give these dogs the exercise they need as they develop. These can be high-strung dogs that are just a huge handful if they don't get the exercise they need. And just, they can be anything but a calm dog without that exercise. So they need to get the exercise they need. And I always uh, really recommend strongly on my channel keeping track of how much exercise your Doberman gets throughout the day so that you can make adjustments as you go and and see what's working and what's not working. Now, one really cool way to do this to get just a ton of useful information about the exercise in your dormant is to use one of these really awesome little Phi GPS smart collars. Now, these are just basically sleek looking brushed metal 
very cool collars, super durable, um, that is also a complete fitness tracker for your Doberman. It keeps track of a lot of really cool stats, such as steps taken, distance traveled, daily goals. It even tracks the total sleep time throughout the day. There's leaderboards with other dogs in your area that you can compete against. You can even compete against Doberman specifically. It has live location tracking of your dog, GPS tracking. You can even do a virtual fence around your property. And if your Doberman leaves that fenced area, it'll notify you on your phone and with the live tracking functions you can see a little dot on the map where your dog is at any time using gps tracking it's really cool and if you lose your dog it'll even give you an exact address and a dot on the map of where your dog is this is a really cool fitness tracker and kind of a safety thing to track your dog at all times it also has one of the best battery lives out of any of the smart callers that i could find anyway uh, in real world use i threw it on my base station charger about once every two weeks but with light use, for example, it can go months without being charged, which is really cool. And it's also one of the few smart callers you can get for a dog where you don't need a monthly subscription, which is really cool. They do offer one and you can get it for the expanded functionality of things like worldwide GPS tracking. That of course needs a subscription, but there's a lot of functionality you can do like, like tracking the steps and the sleep time and so many of the fitness things where you don't even need the subscription. It'll just use your home Wi-Fi. It'll even do kind of a virtual fence thing where if your dog leaves your Wi-Fi connection, it'll notify you all again without a subscription. It's really, really cool. Now, of course, if you want those extra features, you should still get the monthly subscription. Um, I suggest at least starting with a monthly subscription so you can see everything it can do, but you can always cancel it later. Okay, so check this out guys down below. I'll leave a link to where you can pick up this smart collar for yourself and track your Doberman's progress. Um, I will also try my best to get a really good coupon code to save you a bunch of money. If I have that, I will put that down below as well. And a link to a video I did where I spend the whole day with my Doberman Arlo with this smart collar tracking all his activity. So that video will be down below as well. So you have a link to this collar where you can pick it up, a coupon code, I hope, I'll try my best. And you will also have a link to the video where I spent the day tracking my Doberman Arlo's progress with this uh, cool collar. Or if you want, just click on the video right there. It's popping up right on your screen and uh, check it out. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Leave a comment down below. Let us know your best trick and tip for raising a Doberman puppy and I'll see you next time.